Sometimes vendor delivers more or less than what we order for. Similarly, we as a company sometimes deliver slightly higher or lesser than the what customer has ordered for. Over delivery and under delivery functionality in Microsoft Dynamics X 2012 helps us manage the order fluctuation. Let us understand with an example of bicycle. Let us say we have run low on the stock of road bicycle. Purchasing agent puts the order for 1000 pieces of bicycle with the vendor. Typically there is a variance of 1 or 2 percentage when we order from this vendor but they offer the best price. So we as a company and vendor have agreed to allow order tolerance of plus or minus 10 percent. This means even though we have ordered for 1000 pieces we can accept 900 as a minimum and 1100 as a maximum. Let us say when order arrives there are 1018 pieces being delivered. The order is accepted because that is within the order tolerance. Similarly, even if vendor delivers 950 pieces, order is accepted. Let us review the setup and application of our delivery and under delivery functionality in Microsoft Dynamics X 2012. Over delivery and under delivery can be set up for vendor as well as for a customer. As a first step, we need to enable it. In order to enable it for a vendor, go to procurement and sourcing. Then under the setup, click on procurement and sourcing parameters. Under the update step, click on accept under delivery and click on accept over delivery. We can either choose one of them as well. But let's say currently we accept our over delivery as well as under delivery. In order to enable it for a customer, go to account receivable module. Then under the setup, I click on account receivable parameter. And under the update step, under the general field group, Click on accept over delivery and accept under delivery. This is required in order to use over delivery and under delivery functionality for vendor and customer. Now as a next step, we go to the release product form for the road bicycle product. Open the release product form of road bicycle and under the purchase fast tab, we can set up the over delivery and under delivery under the purchase order field group. So we set up 10% of over delivery and under delivery. Similarly, for customer, let's say we have a 5% of over delivery and under delivery. So for vendor and customer, we have set up the different over delivery and under delivery percentage. Notice that they are always expressed in a percentage. And as the next step, we will create a purchase order and try to receive it partially. So go to all purchase order and click on a new purchase order. The over delivery and under delivery percentage specified on the product level are applicable for all vendors. However, user can override it for a specific vendor on an order. So let's say we want to create a purchase order for road bicycle. C1 configuration small size and blue bicycle and for 1000 pieces. Let's look at the line details. Click on the line details tab and under the delivery tab, we can say that over delivery and under delivery has been copied from the product, product master, which can be overridden. But for now, we keep it as a 10 percentage. And as a next step, we will confirm the purchase order. Against the order quantity of 1000, we will receive 950 and close the order. Then as a next step, we will register the quantity. So let's say we are receiving it on a, while registering, we need to give a batch number. So let's give a batch number as P1 and then S1. And we register only 950 pieces because vendor is only delivering 950 pieces. Remaining 50 pieces is still on order. Now once registration is done, we will post a product receipt. Here give the product receipt number and under the lines tab for a quantity field, enter the quantity being received, so that is 950. And there is one important checkbox to be checked here, that is close for receipt. Uh, close for receipt will uh, close the order and uh, it will remove the order quantity of 50 pieces and uh, this will be only allowed if under delivery percentage allows it then we click ok and uh, as we can see packing slip has been posted successfully if we look at the inventory transactions the 950 pieces are received and there is no back order quantity for 50 pieces it has been removed so now this order can be invoice updated we were able to close the order only because under delivery percentage allowed it otherwise system would given an error similarly when we post the packing slip for a customer, we can close the order if quantities being delivered are within the order tolerance. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.